during this pandemic. Companies, businesses and campuses around the, the country and Texas and as well as the world are now shut down. Here at home, Port San Antonio doing what it can to not only deal with the current circumstances, but also to plan for the future. As Max Massey shows us, that includes multiple large scale projects. We're really excited about our campus here at Port San Antonio. Paul Morrissey founded Compass Rose Public Schools just five years ago, helping steer innovation in our young learners. The unique feature of our campus is that it will be an aeronautical STEM program. So students will learn science, technology, engineering, and math, but through uh, the prism of uh, rocketry and uh, flight. This is the soon to be completed school here on the Port San Antonio campus, but there is so much going on here at Port SA. There are new projects, new construction, even robots. Got a couple of employers, as you can imagine, that have certainly been slowed down or been impacted, but this is over a $5 billion a year economic impact on San Antonio. And of the 14,000 people that work on this property, most of them are still here finding some way to keep that going. This project is one of the first things you see when you drive on the Port San Antonio campus. We call it Tech 2. And it's another building full of folks who are doing critical infrastructure protection, whether that's protecting our nation's electrical grids, whether it's protecting the computer network systems, or whether it's protecting healthcare information. And with esports and gaming becoming more and more popular seemingly by the day, Port SA is getting ready. We're going to have two aspects of esports in there. It's going to be a 24 hour a day e gaming facility where you can go in there, you can play whenever you want to. You can even work on your systems, you can build systems, you can work on the software. And then we're going to have a place where we can host the competitions. These big projects are just a sliver of what's going on here, but they're a collaboration for the future of technology, cybersecurity, and learning. What we want to do is, as early as kindergarten, open up students' minds to what is possible, what they can do in their future. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News.